went to Hawaii and stayed on Kona at a friend's house. Spectacular view. Boy, what a great place to be. Off to the right, you can see some coffee plants she's got growing. They're amazing. I'd never seen them before. Uh, there's some beans there, seeds actually, and the red ones are ripe. Open right up, and there's two coffee beans inside. Trying to open it up so we can take a peek. There it comes. Processes to dry those out, and those are sent to people um, as green coffee beans. Here's the ones that I've purchased uh, online from Yankee Prepper. He's got a nice variety, great prices, and he's entertaining. And I always support that. Uh, Colombian coffee's my favorite, obviously. Here I poured a few out on a cutting board. Exactly the same. They're just cleaned off and dried. The process that I use is to put them in a stainless bowl, about three tablespoons. Here's my tablespoon. And I've got this little plastic uh, device to hold onto a hot bowl, which definitely comes in handy. A little wire mesh and my heat gun. This is my coffee roaster. Um, really wanted a cheaper version and this gave that to me. It's adjustable. I set it at 450 and cook my beans for probably 12 to 15 minutes. Here's that process. I'm trying to get an even distribution of the heat over the beans. Definitely easier with two hands. I'm trying to film this made it a little more difficult, but I try to get the heat over the beans as, as evenly as possible to try to get an even brown. Here's a picture from above just after I started. I think this batch took 13 minutes to complete and I just take it to first crack. I don't like even a medium roast. I prefer a light roast. So Here's that process. Around this time you can start to smell a grassy, earthy smell which is spectacular. But you can see they're starting to yellow a little bit. Here they're getting a little bit darker. And like I said, it's not the most even roast, but that's mostly because I was one-handed. Usually roast up really nice and even. But you can periodically see pieces of fine material blowing off of these seeds, and that's chafe. The, uh, just a layer of the seed that pops off when they get warm supposed to do that. Then after about 10 minutes I turn it up to 500 degrees and really give it a direct vigorous heat. Pretty soon they start to pop and they'll pop twice. Um, the second crack. I don't take it to second crack because I'd like the mild taste. Um, I like a light roast. So depending on how you like your coffee, you can make it exactly the way you like it. I like a light roast, so that's what I do. And like I said, the smells that come off this thing are 
spectacular. Changes about eight different times. But they're starting to get brown. There's some more chafing you can see outside the bowl in the sink. But you can see the light coloration on the inside of the bean and it's still a lighter color. But the bean is dark. That's that's how I like it. Pretty vigorous right here at the end. Then I transfer it to the stainless colander so that I can put it in front of a fan and cool the beans pretty quick. Um, they'll continue to roast and like I said that's where I like them so I cool them off as quickly as possible to stop the cooling process or stop the cooking process. Now there's still a little bit of heft to them. You don't want to cook them so that they're uh, males type popcorn. You still want a little heft to them but you can see the light coloration between the beans. That indicates a light roast. Now I don't have a mill grinder. Like I said I tried to do this as cheap as possible. We already had this grinder pour the beans in and grind it out. Now a mill grinder is going to work better but I don't have one and this works just fine. A mill grinder is going to grind it more evenly than this blade grinder. I've got an electric teapot. I put Berkey filtered water inside and plug it in. When it's hot, I add water to the cup that I'm going to use, cover it with foil, and just let it warm up. Keeps your cup of coffee from getting cold. Here's my AeroPress. Got this from Yankee Prepper's website as well. It comes with the filters, the top snaps on, and it's got a plunger. So you put the coffee inside. I like to wash off the filter. It gets rid of the paper taste. Snap the top on. Pour the coffee inside. And then you just add the hot water. Throw the plunger on. Get rid of that water. Now that my cup is warmed up, here's where you add the hot water. Comes with a little stirring device. Stir it up just a little bit. And then the plunger fits right on top. And I'll push it down about a half inch and it maintains the water level in there. Let it sit like this for about five minutes and then I'll start to push on the plunger. This is going to be a nice concentrated coffee. Pretty strong but again depending on your taste you can make it exactly the way you like it. Once that's done, I made about two-thirds of a cup of coffee. I just add hot water directly to that. You can add milk, whatever you like, but there's my cup of coffee. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to make, but it's delicious. It's the best coffee I've ever had. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.